So today I want to take you guys with me for a day in the life of a medical student to show you guys what I get up to on placement in the hospital as a final year medical student. If you guys are new here, my name is Alfie and I'm a final year medical student studying in London. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So I've just had my geriatric rotation for about a month and given how much time you're going to be spending with elderly patients as a junior doctor, I found it to be a really useful way to start the year off. I'm now on my second week of A&E which has been really good so far. I've had a little bit of a stressful start to the week um, with booking SJT, because that kind of felt like one big mess, but uh, I've got the date that I want, so I'm happy. And sorry guys, if my voice is a bit dead, that's because I just woke up. Anyways, I've had my breakfast, I've changed now, uh, so I'm gonna head out. For a &E, we have a pretty early start of 8 a.m. because handover is at 8 a.m., so I'm gonna head on out, and I'll catch you guys later. I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me Alright guys So now that I'm back in the flat I can kind of just walk you guys through um, kind of what I did today. So this morning we had a simulation that was mainly for the a &E doctors But we could just kind of tag along as med students. It was a thoracotomy simulation session They were simulating an emergency and so the doctors would have to figure out what they would need to do Pretty cool. The mannequin that they used was super lifelike. You could see all the sort of organs. After that I went to A&E to practice my cannulation skills and thankfully that all went well um, it's definitely been a while since I've been able to do all these procedures um, because we've spent a lot less time in hospital. So being able to be a lot more familiar will just mean that transitioning to working as a junior doctor should be that much easier. The thing with A&E is it definitely feels a lot more hectic than being on a geriatric ward, which as a med student feels quite nice because there's always something to do, you know, there's lots of stuff going on. But I can imagine that working in A&E um, for your career can be quite demanding because it is obviously quite stressful. Right now the plan is to get changed out of this and then uh, me and my flatmate Hamza, we're gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna do some legs. I'm gonna do some legs. I'm gonna do leg day. And I hate leg day, but it's one of those things where if you want everything else to get stronger, <laughs> you just gotta do it. Nice. Bro, he's got a big head as well. Alright guys, so I've just had my dinner and we actually watched two episodes of Squid Game. So now I'm on episode 6. And don't worry, I won't give any spoilers away. But it just keeps on getting better and better. Um, I just want to be able to finish the show now that all these memes are out. But I want to do a little bit of work now. I'm just going to bang through a couple of flashcards on Anki. And then hopefully I can fit in one more episode before bed. Give it to me like you know you should Anyways guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I get up to in my day as a final medical student. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye bye.